Today's video is on a topic that's fairly subjective, but I think it's still a very interesting one to discuss. I'm going to compare 1080p to 1440p at 27 inch. Basically, one of the questions that I want to answer by the end of this video is 1080p at 27 inch good enough or should you spend more money going up to a 1440p monitor for gaming? For today's video, we're going to look specifically at gaming as a use case, because in my opinion, for productivity, you should look for a monitor that has the feature set that you need and then just get the highest resolution you can afford. Uh, honestly, editing video on a 4K monitor is really awesome and editing video on a 1080p monitor is significantly less awesome. And then because I'm looking at gaming, both of the monitors are going to be high refresh rate monitors. So we're kind of comparing 1080p high refresh rate at 27 inch versus 1440p high refresh rate at 27 inch. So that means that I'm not going to be looking at high refresh rate 4K gaming for a couple of reasons. The first one is the fact that I don't have a high refresh rate 4K gaming monitor. And the second one is that 4K gaming is to graphics cards what the Black Plague was to 14th century civilization. So yeah, that's not really real in 2020 yet. So with that, let's have a look at the two displays that I'm going to use for today's video. The 1080p monitor that I'm using for this video is the Acer VG27-1. Uh, it's a decent 1080p high refresh rate 27 inch monitor. It's got an IPS panel. It has 100% sRGB color space. It's got a uh, free sync. It's got a five millisecond response time and HDR. It's got pretty good features. And then the 1440p monitor that I'm using is the BenQ EX2780Q. Now this monitor has a very similar feature set to the Acer monitor, except for the fact that it has a higher resolution. It's also got 144 hertz refresh rate. It's got a five millisecond response time, an IPS panel, HDR, FreeSync, you know, all that kind of good stuff. And then just to round out all of the kind of specs for today's video, uh, the actual PC that I'm using to do the tests has an i7-9700K in it, overclocked to five gigahertz, because I really wanted to eliminate any CPU bottlenecks at higher refresh rates. And then it's got an AMD RX 5700 XT graphics card in it. It's the waifu edition card, so it's pretty exciting. Uh, the reason that I'm using this graphics card is because it's the fastest graphics card I have available. Now, before we get into the discussion comparing the two resolutions, I just want to again say this is a pretty subjective topic. Uh, I'm going to try and cover it as best I can, but there is variation based on how far you sit away from your display, what games you use, how good your eyes are and all kinds of stuff like that. Um, but I will give pros and cons for both resolutions to help you make your decision. And if you can't make your decision based on the information in this video, I would suggest going to a computer shop uh, with these two kinds of displays and then comparing them for yourself so you can make your own decision. Wow, that was a surprisingly serious introduction to a Dava Does Tech Stuff video. Uh, but you know, just trying to cover all my bases here. <laughs> now first off, let's look at one of the main concerns around a gaming monitor with a lower resolution, and that's sharpness. In my opinion, pixel density is very important for monitor image quality. Color accuracy is also very important and refresh rate and response time and many other factors do contribute. But in my opinion, pixel density is very important. And that's one of the reasons why 1080p at 27 inch is a concern. It only has 81 pixels per inch at that size. Now this may not be a huge concern if you're sitting several meters away from a really big TV, but when using a gaming monitor, you sit pretty close to it. And at 1080p at 27 inch, it's pretty easy to see the individual pixels and that's not great. Now when moving up to 1440p at 27 inch, you're actually getting 108 pixels per inch. Now that doesn't sound like significantly more, but it does actually make a pretty big difference when it comes to overall sharpness in video games. With fast paced shooters, things like CSGO and Battlefield 5, the lower pixel density of the 1080p display isn't a deal breaker in my opinion. Because you're more focusing on what's happening in the environment and then reacting to that as fast as possible, uh, I feel like a higher refresh rate is more important than a higher pixel density because you're not focusing on the small details. However, I will say that it does help you kind of make out smaller details at longer distances, so it could potentially help your sniping. The thing is though, it's a bit of a different story when you move over to more 
open world battle royale style first person shooters. Things like PUBG and Escape from Tarkov. Because in those games, you're almost constantly scanning the horizon for somebody dodgily eyeing you 10 miles away through a building's window. And in that situation, I feel like the extra sharpness does kind of help you strain less um, to see those details. Now here's another shot of me trying to show the difference in pixel density between the two displays. Uh, here I have them side by side. Again, it's really difficult to pick up on camera, but as you can see, the pixels are quite a lot bigger on the 1080p display. To put it into perspective for people who wear glasses, using a 1080p 27-inch monitor is like having a two-year-old or a three-year-old prescription, whereas using a 1440p 27-inch monitor is like having a brand new prescription. Everything's all nice and sharp, even further away. The story becomes even more one-sided when you look at slower paced games, things like visual safari style games, RPGs, or even MOBAs like League of Legends or Dota. You will benefit from the extra pixel density. However, it does depend on your framework of reference. If you've never experienced a higher pixel density monitor, maybe you'll be fine with it because there are some pretty big positives when it comes to a 1080p 27 inch monitor. Now, one of the biggest pros is cost. 1080p 27 inch high refresh rate monitors are just cheaper because the panels are easier to make and you get some great gaming options for not very much money. Now, there's another massive advantage to 1080p over 1440p, and that's the fact that, well, it's significantly easier on your system. As you can see with the couple of benchmarks that I ran here, you get much closer to an average 144 frames per second um, at 1080p than you do at 1440p. So you get a more consistent high refresh rate experience uh, without having to spend significantly more money on a graphics card. In fact, for 1080p high refresh rate, you can get away with spending less than $400. Whereas with 1440p, I would kind of recommend going higher end than an RX 5700 XT unless you want to drop the settings. So that means if you take into account the fact that the monitor itself is cheaper and you don't have to spend nearly as much money on hardware, although do take into account that you should have a decent CPU, 1080p is significantly cheaper uh, than 1440p. So with that, let's kind of sum up my opinion on the difference between the two resolutions. 1440p is clearly better. Um, if you can afford it, and if you can afford the hardware to power it, it is an amazing gaming experience. I really love gaming at high refresh rate 1440p. However, for a budget gamer, 1080p is amazing. The monitors are cheaper and you don't have to worry too much about partnering hardware to get a great high refresh rate experience. But I would say, the pixel density is too low on this monitor, even for FPS games, in my opinion. Uh, what I would do if I was a budget gamer is I would actually look at a 24 inch 1080p monitor instead because the pixel density is higher. Uh, so it means it's not gonna be as blurry as this monitor and you're still gonna get all of the advantages, if not more of 1080p because a 24 inch monitor is gonna be even cheaper. However, when it comes to my conclusion for the budget gamer, there is one caveat. That's if you play exclusively MOBAs, so things like League of Legends and Dota. In my opinion, pixel density is more important than refresh rate. I can't tell the difference between 60 hertz and 144 hertz while playing Dota. However, I can clearly tell the difference between 1080p, 1440p, and even 4K at 27 inch. So if you only play things like League of Legends and Dota, and you're a budget gamer, I would actually recommend going for a 1440p 60Hz monitor over a high refresh rate 1080p monitor at 27 inch. So with that, let me know in the comment section below what you think of my conclusion in this video. I feel like this is all fairly straightforward information, but I was in the market for a high refresh rate 27 inch gaming monitor and I couldn't decide between 1080p or if I should spend the extra money on 1440p. But now that I have both both, I know that the pixel density of 1080p is unacceptable for me, for my gaming uses and for my just everything uses. I would not buy a 1080p 27 inch monitor, um, a high refresh rate monitor. It just, 
it just isn't sharp enough for me but i've been using a 27 inch 4k monitor for a long time because you know i edit videos on it and stuff like that so you know my perspective may be a bit different than yours anyway with that thank you very much for watching if you like the video like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one follow me on whatever social media it is that you enjoy um i'm going to be streaming on twitch later today so i have my twitch account linked in the description below as well and yeah until the next video thank you very much for watching bye bye